Hey everyone, welcome back to Simplify Summer. This video and the theme is makeup for a summer wedding. Pretty much my everyday makeup kind of jacked up with a little more highlight, a little bit more glam. This is the look that we are going to be recreating today and I'm gonna show you some shots of the completed look as well with my full yellow dress on. This was basically inspired by a wedding that I went to last weekend and I wanted to show you how I achieved that look. So if you wanna see it, just keep watching. Pulled my hair back and one thing that I start to prep my skin with immediately, usually while I'm drying my hair because I don't wanna to have too much moisture on my skin when I'm doing my makeup. And I use the Nivea cream. So this is the Urban Skin Defense Daily Moisture SPF 20. Any pre thing that you are putting on your face, especially if you're going to a wedding because you are either going back and forth between venues, the wedding that we went to on the weekend, it was outside. So I wanted to make sure that I was prepped with SPF. So I've already put that on. It looks something like this. It is so delightful on your skin and it just has that really fresh scent. So the one thing that I also will do to prep my skin is I use the Olay Eyes Brightening Cream. I just put a touch underneath my eyes. Just like a long day, just makes you so tired and this has a lot of vitamin C in it. So I will make sure that my eyes are fully prepped with that. In terms of prepping for lips, this is right before a wedding, so I don't necessarily do this every single day, but if I wanna have really nice makeup and I wanna be a little bit more bougie and feel a little pampered before the wedding, I will use my Bite Agave Scrub. So this is the Agave Sugar. It is delightful. I really want to make one of these at home. It looks something like that. And the best part about it is that you can totally consume this if you need to. <laughs> I um, find that any time that I use this scrub, it will not only brush off the impurities, like just the dead skin and things like that, but it actually makes my lips look a little bit bigger and it makes me feel like they're visible. And when I do the lip liner, it kind of gives the same effect. Now that my skin is prepped and primed, this is gonna be, again, a long evening. So one thing that I love to do is preset my skin. So I actually use this product twice in my routine, which can be a lot, but it's the Hangover 3-in-1. And this is by Too Faced. It does make your skin quite dewy after, so you do have to set that in place. Scott and I have so many weddings to go to this summer. We have about six weddings. Some of them are away. Some of them are all through the summer. One of them's in October in Australia. The other one's in Squamish. In September in British Columbia, we're super pumped. But this one was right down the road, which was really nice. And the day was absolutely beautiful too. Because it was an outdoor wedding, I just wanted to make sure I had that light look. I've been really drawn to yellow lately. You may have noticed by my nails, it actually matches the dress that I wore during the wedding. And I will show you that whole look after that. So I have already pre-soaked my beauty blender. I'm gonna be using that. I have been using multi-use sculpting concealer from Too Faced. So I use the color snow because my skin is very, very light. I haven't been in the sun too much yet, and if I am going out in the sun, I definitely plan on wearing a bunch of sunscreen and also wearing a hat. So I will typically put this, start with this, under my eyes. I'll also put some just on areas where I find that I get a bit of dullness, and then on my forehead. So kind of that T-zone area, just that brightening center area of my face. All of my news feeds are babies and weddings. But instead of looking at it as like, oh my gosh, this is such an expensive time of life, I'm kind of just thinking about how lucky I feel to be even involved in this part. Scott has a really tight group of friends as well, and they're all kind of right around that age. He's actually three years older than me, so they're actually right around that age of getting married. So already, I can tell my skin is coming alive. Doing all that prep work too really helps. For an all overall uh, foundation kind of look, again, I wanna keep it airy. I want my skin to be able to breathe throughout the day. If you get really cakey, 
it will move, you're gonna sweat, you're gonna go from outside to inside, you're gonna be hugging people too. That's the number one thing. I always feel so self-conscious. Like I hugged the groom before the wedding and I was just face up and out of the way because I did not want to get makeup all over his suit or over Scott's suit. What I have been using and what I use on a daily basis really is the MAC Studio face and body. It's a really light formula. I love the way that it sits on my skin. I love the way that it is so easy when it sits on the beauty blender. You can tell that it's not like, because it's still moving around, right? It's not like the cakey kind of. So I do that all over my face when I'm going to a wedding or something like that. Even on areas that I've concealed, I'll try to blend through, which might seem like overkill, but I mean, at the beginning, there's all these photos and everything. And I just want to not have to worry too much about evenness in my skin. But at the same time, sometimes I talk myself down from the idea of having a few blemishes. I mean, there's Facetune, there's all these other things that you can do on your phone if you want to just touch up a photo. And sometimes sacrificing that perfect evenness, that perfect dull skin is better to actually allow your skin to breathe. Make sure you blend along your neck too. <laughs> oh. I've been loving brainstorming some ideas for the Simplify Summer video topics. This one kind of just came about because we had that wedding, but I have a lot of organization stuff going on too. Sometimes when you're following these videos, you just feel like you need to go like in five minutes, have it done, but just take a deep breath. <laughs> you have time. The reason why I use my beauty blender to apply the foundation too is it's really light so make sure you pre-soak that beauty blender for sure doing it on a dry beauty blender would be insane i didn't use my blending brush because i actually need to clean it but normally i would use the 170 matte brush to also do my foundation that's also a really good tool that i use in my every single day so this makeup for this wedding look is similar to my every single day just glammed up just a touch now that i have my face fully kind of even I am going to add a little bit of shape to what's going on here. So I am going to bronze. Yeah, this is the matte bronzer from MAC. I've already hit pan on this one for sure. I use this one a lot. It's a lot deeper, a lot richer. I also normally use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. That one's a little bit lighter. Because this is going to be like an afternoon to evening look, I do want it to be a bit more dramatic. So I am going to be using just my fluffy brush here and then using the darker contour bronzer in a bit more of an all over the face kind of look. Definitely avoiding the inside of my face. Okay, so that step's complete. Next up, I have been using Tarte Risqué. And I love this blush. I was going to go with a cloud paint from Glossier to get that really glossy look, but in terms of lasting all night long, I wanted to kind of stay away from more of the wet makeup. I wanted more of that powder setted look, especially when I do my second set of that Too Faced Hangover Spray. So I am going to be going with Risqué. It is more of a matte blush for sure. And it is in their Amazonian Clay 12 hour coverage. So with that, I actually have these little brushes. Um, they're from this place called Vanity Planet. I scoped them out from another blogger, Carol Lauren, when she was doing a sale with them, and I just ended up getting them and really loving them. So this seems a bit crazy, but I'm going to blend it out with another brush. I also love the pretty pink because I feel like at a wedding, you don't want to be too you know, wild with your makeup because the focus is going to be on the bride, right? It definitely should be. So I feel like staying in a comfort zone, staying just kind of like pretty, especially for a summer outdoor wedding is kind of my comfort zone, kind of my way to go. Um, especially because I am wearing a yellow dress. I think that this pretty pink really just goes well um, with all that. One thing that I carry with me all the time when I am out and about at a wedding or even in the studio is I will carry the MAC Studio Fix Compact. So I'm not going to put this on right now, but that MAC Studio Fix in C2 as well, just like the MAC Studio Fix 
uh, face and body that I used. That's what I will have in my purse because then you can just go to the washroom, powder your nose, get those typical spots that lose your makeup over time, and then you just know that you're going to be prepped and primed to get back on the dance floor. <laughs> okay, so now that I have done my whole face, I am ready to dive into these brows. This is an awesome tool by Tweezerman. Um, it's basically just this like little pen guy. And hilariously enough, when I first got it, I couldn't figure out how to get the spoolie out of there. I like having a separate spoolie that I can wash because I use a lot of different types of brow products, but it is this little guy. <laughs> so I always brush up and obviously down on the edges just to set the scene. <laughs> I also, from Tweezerman, use this little brush for my brows, and it's just a little brow brush because the makeup that I use for me brows is the Anastasia Dip Brow in taupe. This is the color. And I have really dove in deep to this guy. I was first a bit terrified when I got it because I was just really scared to use the Anastasia products because I heard that they're so rich, which they are, and it's amazing. I ended up getting it for a, for a trip with work down to Mexico when I was scuba diving the girl on Sephora was like just use this you'll be fine so just knowing that tells me that this is gonna last all all day and that's going to be really really great for keeping your look keeping your makeup aesthetic going if you do put too much product down then it's okay because you are just gonna be using your spoolie through there anyways to clear out some of that makeup because it's hard for me to achieve that real uh, tip on the end with that brush, I also use the MAC pencil for this, and that is also in the blonde shade, just to get that last tip of the eyebrow fully extended. I haven't gotten my eyebrows done in so long, uh, and I went to an eyebrow stylist a while ago just on a blog thing. And she was like, you should really just grow your brows in the end there. And I was like, girl, I have not touched these guys in so long. So I just don't think that the hair grows there. Okay, so I am digging this brow shape. I am good with the blush. Next up for highlights, I really love the Halo Scope by Glossier for that really glossy look, but I don't really want to use a stick today. So I was thinking I'm going to use the Too Faced Fancy Pink Diamond. It looks like this. It was a part of one of their most recent launches. And it actually came with this little brush applicator, which is really adorable. I love this one. It's so beautiful and it's so pink and it just like really glides on well onto your skin. You do have to build this up if you want to get that really achieved glow, but it is just stunning, stunning, stunning. I am really obsessed. Look at that. Kind of just typical areas that people put highlight. Nothing special to see here. Sometimes I'll also put it right below my brow. Next up, I want to get to my eyes. So I have been using the Painterly by MAC for a really long time. You know what? If it's good enough for Jeffree Star, it is good enough for me. That's for sure. So I usually just apply some of this to my lid with my finger just really gently. This as well is one of those steps that you won't find me doing necessarily in my every single day routine. Uh, maybe for work, maybe for on air, but it is perfect. It's that perfect extra step to add if you want your if you want your eyeshadow to last a lot longer. The palette that I use almost every single day uh, is the Tartlet Toasted Palette. I just find that all the colors go really well with my eye color being blue. S'more is this top corner one. That's the one that I'm going to put right below my brow bone there just to kind of give a bit of a lift and a bit of a lighter color. What I did for this wedding in particular was I took Sunrise and Sunset, which is this color here, that shade, and then also mix it in with this color here. And I just started on the inside and I just really wanted that glimmery, lighter color. So I didn't want the full sunset. And I kind of just built that up keeping it super, super simple. With my fluffier brush, also from MAC, I also go in with this cashmere color and I mix in a little bit of warmth too. 
uh, much less of warmth than the cashmere and I just lightly line that crease with this I'm adding a little bit of that orange glow that orange hue and that's gonna make your eyes pop especially if you've got the blue tone going in there this is what I mean just like a little bit of glam keeping it really simple just something that can make you feel a little bit confident with if you are going to an event and you don't have to get too crazy with your makeup so that is all I use from that guy. I hardly ever go underneath my eye with this palette. Latte is another one. That's the one that I use on my everyday makeup, but I wanted to add a little bit more orange to this one. Um, I hardly ever go under my eye because I actually have these folds there that I've just had since I was a kid, and I hate makeup under my eye. I hate the way it looks, and I hate the way it collects in that fold. It's just something I've always had, and yeah, so... Whenever I'm at a makeup artist, they're always like, oh, oh no, I'm just going to put a little bit. And I'm like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Just with a L'Oreal pen uh, for eyeliner. This isn't rocket science, this one. It's just one of these little marker pens. I'm going to make a little bit. So I just go from around the center of my eye, make a really thin line, and then cut out it, cut cat eye it out <laughs> um, because I really want my eyelashes to pop. I am lucky I have long eyelashes. So that is one thing that I love. As soon as I add my mascara, it just really pops and I can kind of see the look coming together. Recently, I have been using the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced, but I just got this one in the mail from Look Good Feel Better doing a campaign for Wink Day. Anyways, what it is, it's the NARS Climax Mascara and I am obsessed with this mascara. I find that it comes off easier than the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and the brush is very volumizing so I am so obsessed with that brush. Okay but seriously look at the difference by just putting on mascara. Okay, so last but not least, I am going to do my lips. I've already used that scrub from Bite Beauty, and now I'm going to use the Prep and Prime from MAC. This guy is a hero product. I love this product so much. It is almost out, so I need to get a new one. But I just find that it adds that perfect film over top of your lips to just kind of lock in that moisture, which is really great and long lasting when it's a night like a wedding. You're gonna be dancing, you're gonna be drinking, you're gonna be sipping, you're gonna be eating, you're gonna be doing all of those things. Hopefully you'll be kissing. <laughs> yeah, so all of those things. For my lip liner, as I mentioned earlier, I really do want to achieve that bigger kind of, um, not necessarily bigger, but more like voluminous lip. I know that I do have pretty good lips, like I do like the, the shape and the size of them, but what I am going to use is my Boldly Bare lip pencil because the lip color that I've chosen is a little bit lighter. So, as soon as you put this on, it's just kind of like, oh yeah, there it is. With Boldly Bare too, I not only overline my lips slightly, don't know why I'm doing this while I'm doing it, I normally overline my lips slightly and then I bleed it into my lip as well. And the reason being for that is we are actually only going to be using uh, a very light lipstick. This one's called Roman Holiday by NARS. And then through the night, I am going to be using Fashion Scoop. And this is one of Max Creme Sheen glosses. And this one, I really, really love. It's so easy to throw in your purse. And the best thing about having a light gloss for your lips throughout the night is you don't necessarily need a mirror to apply it. It's not like when you have a red lipstick and you're like, oh gosh, we're gonna need to make sure this is really on properly. So you can kind of just throw that on through the night after sipping some wine or something like that. All right guys, so this is the final look for Simplify Summer, a simple look to go to a wedding. I am just gonna change really quickly and then show you in some B-roll clips before we end this video what the whole look was like in my yellow dress another suggestion for a wedding to wear just nice pastel -y, light color no matter what wear something that makes you feel good and something that fits your body because at the end of the day that's all you need you don't even need to go out and get something new this was a dress that i got last year and i'm obsessed with it and sometimes you just buy something you love 
and you don't have anywhere to wear it to and then when the event comes up you're looking for something new just dive back into that closet oh last step totally forgot the setting spray once again I will do that off camera I'm gonna set all of that makeup in place again with that Too Faced makeup spray be sure to subscribe and click that bell for more Simplify Summer videos are coming out all summer long, so I really want to keep you guys in the loop, keep you up to date, and make you a part of this community. I will be listing all of the products below, and if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know along the way because I kind of want to expand and start playing with makeup more. I am not an expert. I am not a makeup artist by any means. This is just what I do on an everyday basis. guys are having a great day and thanks for slowing down your summer and taking some time to spend with me in this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!